Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about methods in C Sharp. Now, a method is basically just a little block of code where we can perform a specific task. So a lot of times when you're writing programs in C Sharp, you'll have like a few lines of code, maybe like five or 10 lines, which are performing a specific task. Like the whole idea of having those lines in the program is that they're gonna do a certain thing. So what we can actually do is we can create something called a method, which will allow us to take all that code and put it into its own little container. And then when we wanna execute it and we wanna perform the task that that code is gonna carry out, we can just call that method and we'll be able to reuse it in different spots in our program. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create a method and we're gonna talk exactly about what it does and, and how they're useful. So. What I wanna do in this tutorial is I wanna create a method which is gonna say hi to the user. So the task of this method is gonna to be to say hi to whoever is using the program. So what I wanna do when I create a new method is I actually want to come down out here outside of these curly brackets. So believe it or not, this line of code up here where it says static void main, this is actually a method inside of our program. So like I said, a method is just a container or it's sort of like a block where we can put code that's gonna perform a specific task. And this main method is very special because this is the method that gets executed when we run our program. So any code that I type down here in this main method gets executed when I run my program. But in addition to writing this main method, we can also define other methods that are gonna work a little bit differently, but it's the same idea. We're encapsulating a bunch of code inside of its own little container. So in order to create a new method, I wanna first go outside of this main method. So this main method is all the code that I have highlighted. You can see it's delineated with this open and closed curly bracket. So I'm gonna come down here below this and we can actually create a new method. So when I create my method, I need to tell uh, C Sharp a couple different things. And the first thing we need to do is say a keyword static. And I'm actually gonna talk a lot more about what static means in later tutorials. And as of right now, um, it's really not super important as to what this is doing. Again, I will explain what this is, but for now, just know that we have to put static here if we're gonna put our method uh, alongside this main method. After I say static, I need to specify something called a return type. Now these methods are awesome because they can perform specific tasks for us. And one of the things they can do is they can actually give us back information. So if I was to run one of these methods, it can actually give information back to me. And you'll see how to do that. We're gonna talk more about return types in the next tutorial, um, but for now I'm just gonna say void. And that basically means that this method isn't gonna return any information. So this is kind of like the simplest method that we can create. All right, so after I say void, I wanna give this method a name. Now remember, methods are generally going to be performing a specific task. So you wanna name the method based off of the task that it's performing. Our method in this tutorial is basically just gonna say hi to the user. So I'm just gonna call this say hi. And generally in C Sharp, when we're creating a method, we're gonna create it using a capital letter for the name. So you can see I named it just like that. You can also see up here, main was named with a capital letter. And that's just a naming convention. That's not necessary, but um, a lot of people are gonna do that. Then what we wanna put in here is an open and closed parentheses and then an open and closed curly bracket over there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and indent in for, into this curly bracket. Any code that we put inside of these two curly brackets is gonna be considered part of the method. So any code that we put in here will be run when we call our method. So I can essentially write all the code in here to perform the task that the method is designed to carry out. Remember, this method is just gonna say hi to the user. So I can basically just print something out onto the screen. I'll say console.writeLine. And why don't we just come over here and say, hello user. Our method down here has one line of code and methods can have as many lines of code as you want. I mean, you could have, I'd say most methods have anywhere from five to 10 lines of code, but you can have more or less than that. It doesn't really matter. In my case though, I just have a very simple method. So it's gonna be one line of code. All right, so now what I wanna do is go ahead and run my program and we'll see what happens. So I'm just gonna click this start button and you'll see over here, nothing got printed out. So even though we created our new method and we put a line of code inside this method, it didn't execute this line of code. In other words, this line of code never got 
executed by C sharp. Here's the reason. When we create a method, this code isn't going to get run automatically. Only the code that's inside of this main method is going to get run when we run our program. So because this code wasn't inside of this main method, it didn't get run. Now, if I want to execute all of the code inside of this say hi function, I can actually do something called calling it. So I can call this method. Basically what that means is C sharp is going to go over to the method, execute all of the code inside of it. So the way I can call the method is just by typing out its name. I can just say, say hi, and I can make an open and close parentheses. And then now we should be able to execute this code. So when I run my program now, you'll see we're printing out hello user. So the code inside the method got executed. Now, essentially what's happening is whenever C sharp sees this line of code, what it does is, it jumps over, it goes over to this say hi method, and it's gonna go through and execute all of the code inside of there. Then when it's done executing the code inside of here, it's gonna come back and it's gonna move on to the next line of code in the main method. That's essentially what's happening. So this is extremely useful. And there's gonna be a lot of circumstances where you're gonna to wanna to have methods that are doing different things and you're gonna to wanna to have all of that code inside of its own single container. But this is really just scratching the surface of what we can do with these methods. And I wanna show you guys another thing we can do. We can actually give these methods information. Inside of this say hi function, I could actually specify that this say hi function should take in some information. And this is what we would call parameters or arguments. And a parameter is basically just a value that gets passed into a method. So it's a value that we would give to this method and then it could use that value to perform its task better or do something. And the way that we can specify a parameter is just by coming in here into the open and close parentheses and I can just basically specify what type of information I want to accept. So let's say that instead of saying hello user, we wanted this method to say hi to a particular person. Well over here I could specify string name. And now when I write out this line string name, I'm basically saying that the say hi method needs to take as a parameter, as an argument, one value which is going to be a name. Then what I can do is I can come down here and I can print out hello name. You'll see we're getting an error up here when we're calling this method. That's because I didn't include a name when I called it. So now whenever I call this method, I have to pass it a string. So I'm going to pass it the string Mike. And essentially what's going to happen is this string Mike that I passed this method is going to get stored inside of this string variable inside of this name variable, and then I'm just gonna print it out. So now we should be printing out hello Mike. And you can see we get that right there. So that's one cool way that we can run these methods. And the other cool thing about methods is that I can call this code as many times as I wanted. So I could call it again and again and each time pass in a different name. So we'll pass in Mike, John, and Tom. And now each time we call this, the method is gonna do something slightly different. So it's gonna say hi to someone different. So now it's saying, whoops. Now it's saying, hello, Mike, hello, John, hello, Tom. So really what we're doing is we're able to write this code in one place and then we're able to reuse it continually inside of our program. And that's another reason why methods are awesome. In addition to just passing in one parameter, we could also specify that this should take two parameters. So instead of just a name, why don't we also pass in an integer age? And then down here, we can add the age in. So I can say, hello name, you are, and then we'll just print out the age. So now when I call these methods up here, you'll see we're getting more errors because I have to give these values. So I can say like 33, 56, and 12. And now when I run my program, it's going to be able to handle that. So this method is now printing out both the name and the age that we passed in. And really you can pass anything you want into these uh, methods. You can pass strings, ints, doubles. You can even pass things like arrays. It doesn't really matter. You know, any value um, that you want to work with, you can pass into here as long as you can specify it um, over there. So that's kind of the basics of working with methods. Now I will say, um, You'll hear most of the time people are gonna call these methods. You'll also hear people refer to these as functions. 
methods and functions are essentially the same thing. There is a small difference um, just in the definition, but generally you can use the word method and the word function interchangeably. Um, and you'll hear a lot of people call these functions. You also hear a lot of people call them methods, but generally in C sharp, like the official term would be um, a method. So that's really why uh, methods are useful. You can kind of see, you know, we were essentially able to reuse all the code that we wrote down here. So I can reuse it and give it different information and it'll do different things. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about this value over here which is gonna be the return value. So in addition to passing information into methods, methods can also pass information back to the callers. And we're gonna talk about that in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.